<sighs> Alright guys. Let me check and see what this guy has. I don't know how dangerous this place is going to be. This might be smart. Frost damage. That's pretty strong. How much is that? I do like these. I, I kind of collect these scrolls. I just think they're fun. Okay. We did Fargoth's hiding place. I think it's time to give Adam Asartus a shot. Like, my game is actually, I would say, bright as far as nighttime. Like, the ground is light. Like, over here it's light, but when I look at the video to the side, it's dark. But, well, let's see how this goes. She was buffed. I think the only one that was buffed was the uh, the guy down there. Actually, I'm not even worried about that guy. Hopefully, whatever the case is, I can just burn through his magic. His spells, but goal is just to burn through him. So I thought he was supposed to be a red guard too. Definitely a lot of magic. Okay. Threw a lot at me. Okay, 
So I've got the Thunder Fists. Whether this person's upgraded or not, I still think we need Woad. And then we're going to use Thunder Fist and a... Uh, potentially this right here, which does good damage. easier than I thought it was going to be. Skooma clothing. That kind of makes sense, you know. People selling their bodies for skooma and okay, taking off all their clothes. More moon sugar. All right. Oh, that is going to be very helpful. Oof. In fact, oof. Chitin and iron. Yeah. So we need to go back. sell and transition out of some things. Come back. Collect the rest of our stuff. Lantern go. Did I drop it? Hmm. <laughs> I thought that. <laughs> what happened to my lantern? Silt Strider, tell what's her face that you sent her. Good, good. Okay. For sure, and you for sure. Netch. Oh, come on, you're at 50. You should be able to sell it for that, you cheap bastard. Okay. Sell the rest of this garbage. Save the books because five to twenty. Jesus. Almost want 
we should keep that. And that is why you save. Because randomly, the thing just dies. Let's see where we are. Oh, the stuff changed. Well, shit. I think we're going to move some of the more expensive stuff on top. Like that. We're not going to lose out on too much. And I guess we got another chitin shield, which is an extra 10 grand to use for building up our skills. Right, our uh, our lantern's gone. Next time we go in there, I have to look for that because I don't think it would just disappear. Maybe I dropped it or something. Welcome. If you wish to talk, it is really no trouble. All right, buddy. Oh, our fatigue is low. That might be why we're having problems before. go. Sell the grief. Sell the shoes. Five to twenty. Six to twelve. I am I'm leaning towards keeping the saber. Let's do that. Sell the Imperial Broadsword. <sighs> Hell, I could even use the Chitin Tower Shield. Not a bad. 
that shield. Save. Let's go drop this stuff off and hope the game doesn't fall apart on us. It didn't. Let's get rid of him. Put our moon sugar and our stuff in here. Yeah, all right. That's what we're using, I guess. Let's go back in to get the rest of our loot. I'm listening. Then it's time to make our way back to Balmera. And by Balmera, I mean Balmora. Where would you like to go? That's right, I didn't talk to him because the game crashed before. Interesting. You want something, friend? Take the silk strider. Tell her that I sent you. I vote nudius nudius. He's unhappy. Now when I go back to town, we'll be good on that. Instead of a game... my lantern go. Ah, you can stay. <sighs> oh. I think I've already got a slave key. I do. I think the reason Morrowind has more NPCs with unique names than Oblivion and Skyrim combined is because um, there are no bandits in Morrowind. I mean, there are, but they have names. They have, they're unique. They have, they, everyone was built independently. I think that's just, it's just fascinating. It's just so much more real instead of wandering around going like, bandits. Twelve of them. Alright. Iron shield. War axe. There you go. And sheen. I'm gonna go by one. And I do like Flynn. I don't want to get rid of it all. I think we're going to get rid of the Soul Feeder. Oh, greetings. How do you do? Soul Eater. Because I won't be trapping gems for a while. Or trapping souls, rather. have to be done again. But you know what? It actually makes me happy. Some people might look at it as work. But, uh...
but I really actually enjoy it. <sighs> I think the game is beautiful. I could have a beautiful sunset the other day. And it's now it's misty and cold and foggy. You know, the cold morning fog is coming in. This actually reminds me of my home. The Pacific Northwest. A place of unrivaled natural beauty, marred only by the insanity of socialist buffoons. And the sunrise is here. Sanchez just never ceases to amaze me. This is like, like looking up. Th I mean, it's not exactly the same, but this is just this is this was made by people. This light coming through here. It was all programmed and put into a machine, and then it spit this out. How insane is that? As we're running around, I think it's... I think it would be behoove us to talk about a plan for this game, considering how supposedly difficult it is going to become. Fuck. And... Oof. Come on, gold can it. Don't play that hard to get. Would definitely behoove us. I'll check in here just just to see. I always like looking at what these people are selling. And by these people, I mean these, you know, imaginary caricatures of human beings. That's what I mean. Could do a regular steel shield. Oh, it's the same as the tower shield. Another thing to consider is, while we are... Uh, Well, we are going to be Caldera. That's where we're going to go. Well, we are going to um, try to be safe and follow a uh, somewhat of a standard path as far as doing quests and training and selling stuff. Um, I do think we should do a little exploring, just to kind of, oh, let's say targeted exploring. All right, I'm listening. Not like levitating to a place and just kind of going to where all the good stuff is, but you know, we might need to, we might need to get some good stuff early. Oh, 
more smooth moves and I see things as a dancer, no? A high wall walker. Perhaps you should be. She sees you walk and she likes what she sees. It is her profession to see such things as the flow of the body and the grace of the eye. What a sexy kitty. She loves secrets, and when she finds them, she loves to have them, like this strange Rodras upstairs. Rodras has a secret. Serves Maroon's Dagon, this magic belt Rodras has. Such a pretty belt, but strange writings and strange letters. Maybe evil, maybe danger. This dustman, bad person, he frightens Anasi, he comes, tells Anasi there is no more Thieves Guild, there is just Kamona Tong. And Anasi will join Kamona Tong and be protected otherwise. Anasi might get hurt. I guess I should join the Thieves Guild and then maybe she'll train me. Okay. So much, so much endurance. I definitely remember the appeal of being unarmored. So as we make our way to Balmora, we need to prepare a couple of things, of potential ideas of what we're going to do. I already think I know where I'm going to get the bulk of the money early to build up the training. Another thing to consider is... Uh, getting most of the miscellaneous skills up to, let's say, there's a cranky around us, but I can't see them. Hmm. 
plan, as I was thinking about all this, was to get everything down here, up to 30 or so, get the combat and defensive things up to 40, uh, minor skills would be 40, and major skills potentially get up to 50, if I could. we could help her right now, but... <sighs> okay, we'll help her. <sighs> but then we're gonna have to go back to this very place. Basically, almost straight that way. I'm also kind of a fan of the saber. It's not a bad looking sword. It's not a good looking sword, but it's not a bad looking sword. of Kumu. And from there, back to Balmora. We're going along the south route so that we can get the secret. over there. Hmm. 
I'm just gonna wait a minute to make sure that she's coming. She is. I don't think anything's chasing her. No, nothing's chasing her. She made it. And now we head back. Back to the place we came from. I think as far as quests go, except for the Fighters Guild in Balmora, I'd like to round out and um, complete the guilds, all the quests in Balmora. I think we could probably work on mm, the seven graces for the temple for sure. And probably a couple for the uh, Imperial Cult. Not not too, too many, but most of the gathering missions I should be able to complete. The Almoner's ones are a little more difficult. Involving some trekking and searching around. Hmm. What else is there? I guess we could do some of the more egg tong. I don't see why not. But I think getting maybe f 
except for the fighter's guild, getting about three levels would probably be helpful. Getting those faction bonuses, having the personality, not the personality, but the reputation with each faction to give us a nice little bump. This is an ebony mine, but it says cave because it's been forgotten. And there are a couple of people that you can report it to. And once you report it, depending on who you report it to, you can get some very nice bonuses. That little mine I went into a few minutes ago, it's an abandoned ebony mine, and if you report its location to someone called Dram Biro, or Dram Barrow, in the Haunted Mansion, in Vivek, St. Olm's Quarter, or Canton. He will give you your choice of a Daedric weapon. Which, if nothing else, 
depending on which one you get, it will be at least 50,000 septums. Which I think is really, really good early on. Although, to be totally honest, best one at least in terms of rarity is the bow because the bows can't be found anywhere I take it back they can be found in one or two places but they are never dropped they're not in the leveled lists nobody uses them so that a big battle axe Or, thank you, my dear. Personally, I would honestly probably do the bow, the katana, or the wakasashi. The bow for its rarity and early game ability to snipe from a long distance and do tons of damage, one-shotting things. Especially if you're sneaking. <coughs> By Daedric Wakasachi is the best short sword in the game. And then the Daedric Katana. It's heavy, but attacks quickly and does a ton of damage. Hmm. I'm listening. Put your drugs away, Jesus. Also, you have to circle Cassius's nipples hmm. for good luck. Yes, I know you like that. Okay. Nipples aroused. We can talk to him. Yes, I am. Okay. Blades trainers. Elone. Gildan. Nine toes. Rifling. She is. Rifling and nine toes are here. So she is here. Healer. She's got a lot of people to train. Okay. Now we're ready for my favorite quest in the game. Here's 200 drakes. Get yourself some weapons, armor, or spell. Cover identity. Sign on with the Fighters Guild, Mages Guild, Imperial Cult, or Legion. Advance in ranks, gain skill and experience. Go out on your own, look for freelance work or trouble. And when you're ready, come back and I'll have orders for you. This, in a sense, this quest could pretty much take up the vast majority of the game. So, uh, <laughs> Bribe you. Just need to get him up to ten or a hundred. Easier said than done. There we go. Now, 
I want to get our unarmored up first. Definitely have some things to do. First things first, we're going to join every guild here. Then we're going to go take care of some training. After we do a couple of quests and sell a few things. The Mage's Guild will be our friend. Its scent is unfamiliar. Guess you just need to smell it a little bit more. Join the Thieves Guild. Yeah, 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 let me in. Let's do some jobs. Diamond. Go to Nalkaria the White and get a diamond. Okay. We're not going to do that right now, but it's nice to have a quest right there on the book. Now we're going to go and Join a few others, do a little traveling with our little gold that we have left, and sell our chitin shields. And maybe acquire some things. Lahlu is imperial through and through, and you get a good mix of native and imperial people and services. House Redoran, or down in Big City Vivek, and definitely not friendly. I used to sell a lot of wizards, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Easier when you get a reputation. Sounds good. This is probably the first guild I like to do a lot of work for. The beginning's pretty easy. Speak with me again when you've proven yourself. And where do we prove ourselves? Down this way. With the Ajira. I see you. Hello. Duties, mushrooms. So from the road, I. Okay. Yes, here they are. These are the reason I like is you can get these right in Sedanine. Then the path up to here, you can get the flower she's going to ask for. Bet with Galvadir. Fake soul gem. Time to go. Put this gem upstairs. How may I help you? Oh, good 
she's moving. Oh, I was worried. So the fake one's in there, that's good. We're gonna take that for money. Take other things for money, but honestly, we're gonna get a pretty big haul soon to help us with training. Did the fake soul gem. Good. More duties. Need flowers. I already have the flowers, so we got all that done. I'm going to sell the potions back that she gave us. We don't need the cheap magicka. Probably don't need those, but we'll... We'll do it anyway. Ceramic bowl. Go to Ravir to get the ceramic bowl. The trader in town. I don't know if there's a bug as far as her going upstairs, and I could always use Reset Actor, but May it's, I help you? it's nice to just make sure that she gets to where she's supposed to go. Quest will be all done with Ajira. Stolen reports. She stole the reports. Okay. Since we've done this probably 50 times, we know where all the reports are. This thing is new because people want something. People tend to keep walking into it. Good. Speak with Ajira's good friend until you're a warlock. So we're gonna sell that stuff. So that's why your fatigue is so important. Good friend, this is an honor. Okay. I think that's good for this time. Ebony short sword. Short sword that does more damage than a bl long blade. Oh, that's that's good. Ooh, the thrust on that fifteen to twenty-five. That's good. Well, I think what we may do, and we'll have to we'll have to play it by ear, but 
when we do the mages guild i'm pretend i'm basically thinking of, look at myself as a battle mage and we're going to wear armor and use you know some spells but it's mostly going to be like a warrior so we'll try to do a lot of the mages we'll, we'll do all the mages guilds first then we'll hold, do a couple for the fighters a couple for the thieves and then uh do the temple imperial cult um, and once we clear a lot of those out, we'll be able to do Cassius, and it will be good, so. Until then, guys, you have a lovely day.